All right, lesson one investigation. Two items on the quick access toolbar that's right up here. Anything that you have these checks on is showing here, which is handy. So a few examples, new, open, save, undo, redo, spelling and grammar. Click it, it'll go up there and you can quickly get to it. Can the quick access toolbar be moved below the ribbon? Yes, it can. If you click here, you can see that you can show it below the ribbon. And then I it gets lost here to me, but you can just click the arrow and put it back. Identify four tabs. So the tabs are across the top of the ribbon. So going from left to right, file, home, insert, design, layout, etc. The Home tab gives you access to some of the commonly used commands and some of the groups are. So the groups are shown at the bottom of the ribbon here. So for example, if I ask you to find the text effects icon on this ribbon, it's pretty tough if you don't know where it is to find it. You can just hover around uh, over and over, but if you are given the name of the group, such as font, then you know that the icon will be found somewhere in between this line and this line, and then you would be able to find it. So some examples of groups, the clipboard is a group of commands, font, paragraph, and styles. Your ruler, when you have it turned on with your view menu by putting the check in the box, it is across the top of your document and down the left side of your document. And you may have noticed that if you scroll in, you get a little bit more detail on the ruler. Just a little bit more precision. The backstage view. You get to the backstage view. This is when you click the file tab. This is called the backstage view and you will have commands like save and print and share and open. Number seven, the viewing options that you have to change how your document dis is displayed, they're down here in the status bar. So your read mode, really, you're only going to put that on if you have a very long document that you need to read and you don't need access to the commands. The print layout mode is the one that we will be in all the time. But occasionally you'll open a document and it will be in this mode. And you need to know enough, if it looks odd, to come down here and check this and get into the print layout mode. The web layout is the other mode. The word default font is found here. It's Calibri. And the size of the default font is 11 points. The default page orientation is portrait and that just means that the paper on this document that I'm working on right now is oriented with the long side up just like these pictures show you. I can change to a different orientation with my layout tab by clicking the orientation command and going to landscape which turns the page sideways like this one is shown. The four alignments for paragraphs are found on the Home tab. We have left, center, right, and justify. And just to quickly going to put a document here and show you that if I wanted to put justify alignment on these, I could click this icon. Now notice I don't have this whole paragraph in here and it really doesn't matter uh, because these are paragraph settings. It's going to apply to whichever paragraph uh, that the cursor is in. See, I'll go to the last paragraph and justify it. I didn't really need to select the whole thing. So all justify means is that the words, the text, it's lined up flush at the left margin and your left margin is represented here by this dark section here and 
it's lined up on the right margin, as you can see, except for the last line, because it's they're not going to stretch that across. It'll have too many white spaces in it, and it won't look right. And it justifies it by padding these spaces. So if you turn this on, you see there's not more spaces added, but there's more padding kind of put on the individual spaces. So sometimes it doesn't always look right when you justify it. Sometimes you get some pretty wide white gaps in there. How do you show and activate the show hide codes? Number 12 on your home ribbon right here is your show hide and if you click it it's going to show hidden formatting symbols and we'll be using this all the time every time you see one of these show hide symbols that's also called a pill crow uh, but you can just call it a show hide or a new paragraph every time you click it you're you're sending your cursor down to the next paragraph I've done a whole video, the next video is on the difference between the blank document template that you get when you click File New here and the single space, so go and have a look at that. This, this icon that is found here and here and at the corner of many of these groups it's called a launcher and when you click it you are going to get a dialog box with numerous commands sometimes instead of a dialog box that looks similar to this sometimes you get what they call a pane as in p-a-n-e a window pane over here on the right but again it has more commands uh, that are attached to it this icon is called the Ribbon Display Options. It's right here on the title bar, and I hope you know that you should always show your tabs and commands. This icon here is the Collapse Ribbon icon, and please don't do that. This one here, or if you do it, make sure that you know just to come back here and show your tabs and commands. This is the Quick Access Toolbar. It's up here in the top left corner. It's not the mini toolbar, which is this. This is called the mini toolbar. This is called the quick access toolbar. This icon is called line and paragraph spacing. And it's right here in the paragraph group. And all these first numbers, these are line spacing numbers. So that's a single space document. That would be double space, triple space. Line spacing options opens the paragraph settings dialog box. And lastly, you have two little paragraph space options there. Okay, uh, open punctuation in a letter means that there is no punctuation after salutation. For example, dear Mrs. Smith, you can see there is no punctuation after Smith. And after the, what's called the complimentary closing, like sincerely, there is no punctuation. If you do a letter with mixed punctuation style, it means that you will have the colon after the salutation, and you will have a comma after the closing. Three characteristics of a memo. So a memo is communication that is sent within a company. It is not like a letter that would be sent to clients or anyone outside the company. It's an internal communication system. And memos are short and concise. They get right to the point in the first paragraph. They let the staff know uh, what the situation is and what they would like to happen. Uh, characteristics have headings near the top, like to and from and date and quite often have initials at the bottom, and sometimes if they're very short, they're double-spaced.